Good evening. At this time, please welcome the platform guests being led by our principal.
Good evening. At this time, I would like to introduce our student council president, Mr. Kevin Pino. Good evening and welcome to the Hialeah Miami Lake Senior High School's 49th Annual Commencement Ceremony. Guests, please join our graduating class and stand for the presentation of colors by the HML Army Jera OTC and the Pledge of Allegiance by Megan Casal. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem by Delvon Taylor. Please remain standing for a moment of silence as we honor those who lost their lives in Uvalde, Texas tragedy. Gentlemen, you may place your caps back on. Everyone, please be seated. It is with great pleasure that I invite to the podium our principal, 
Mr. Alexander Santoyo, who will introduce our distinguished guest. Good evening, parents, class of 2022 platform guests. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce those who have taken time from their free uh, schedule to come out here and join us on this uh, joyous occasion. As, uh, as we call your name, please stand to be recognized. Dr. Jose Drotes, Superintendent of Schools, Miami-Dade County Public Schools. <laughs> Mayor Manny Sid, Town of Miami Lakes. <laughs> Mr. Jose Bueno, Chief of Staff. <laughs> Ms. Lourdes Diaz, Chief Academic Officer. <laughs> Dr. Verena Cabrera, Region Superintendent, North Region Office. Mr. Eugene Baker, Chief Information Officer, Class of 76. <laughs> Ms. Rachel Otler, Administrative Director, Director North Region Office. <laughs> Dr. Gilberto Bonse, Administrative Director, North Region Office. <laughs> Ms. Ann Lewis, Administrative Director, North Region Office. Mr. Ronald Redman, Administrative Director, North Region Office. <laughs> Mr. Leonard Torres, Administrative Director, North Region Office. <laughs> Ms. Maria Medina, Principal, Miami Lakes Middle. <laughs> Ms. Karina Mann, Principal, North Dade Middle. <laughs> Ms. Yesenia Martinez, Principal Bob Graham Educational Center. Oh. Dr. Janelli Ferrer, Principal Miami Lakes K-8. <laughs> Ms. Jacqueline Lewis, Principal Borch Bunch Park Elementary. Oh. Ms. Ludes Nunez, Principal John Dupuy Elementary School. <laughs> Mr. Jeff Rattal, Principal Golden Glades Elementary. Dr. Cynthia Clay, Principal Robin B. Ingram Elementary. <laughs> Ms. Nuka Davis, Principal Nathan B. Young Elementary. <laughs> Mr. Jose Fernandez, Principal North Twin Lakes Elementary. <laughs> Ms. Jacqueline Aria Gonzalez, Principal Pam Lakes Elementary. <laughs> Ms. Shanda Scott, Principal Rainbow Park Elementary. Ms. Iver Bernard Pino, Principal at Twin Lakes Elementary. <laughs> Dr. Philippe Napoleon, Assistant Principal, Hialeah Miami, Hialea, Miami Lakes. <laughs> Dr. Lilibet Sosa, Assistant Principal, Hialeah Miami Lakes. <laughs> Ms. Angel Robinson, Assistant Principal, Hialeah Miami Lakes. North Region Assistant Principal of the Year, Mr. Juan Ramirez. <laughs> Kevin Pino, Student Council President. <laughs> Angeli Quintana, Senior Class President. <laughs> Megan Casal, Senior Class Historian. And Devon Taylor, our HML Chorus. <laughs> Dr. Jose L. Dotres is the superintendent of Miami-Dade County Public Schools, the nation's fourth largest school district. For over three decades, Dr. Dotres has served students, families, employees, and the broader community in a variety of, variety of capacities, including teacher, principal, region superintendent, chief academic officer, and now as a superintendent. Throughout his career, he has made a significant contribution to help children see themselves as leader and reach their full potential. We're truly honored to have him with us tonight. Please join me in welcoming our superintendent, Mr. Jose, Dr. Jose Dotres, to the podium.
Okay, good evening, everyone. I'm honored to be here celebrating this momentous occasion with these remarkable young graduates. And I want to take a special moment and really thank Mayor Sid for your participation in so many of these graduation. Uh, it speaks to your commitment to education and the school. So I really, really appreciate you joining us in so many of these graduations. I would like to take a moment to congratulate all the parents and the family members who have supported each of these graduates throughout their entire educational journey. Their success is your success, and I want to thank you on behalf of them and all of us because we know that educating students is not only a factor of the school, but it also has a lot to do with parents and families. Thank you so very, very much. As a parent myself with a son in high school, I know the pride and the joy that you must be feeling in seeing how distinguished these young, these young men and women look in their cap and gowns. I know that Hialeah Miami Lake Senior High School is a very unique school. It is a school that embodies excellence. It is a school that celebrates imagination and individuality. But I know that the most important thing of all is that it validates and it really honors the fact that every single one of these graduates has enormous potential to succeed in life. You see, education is a gift, and it is a gift that cannot be taken away. Together, we have dealt with a lot of challenges and a lot of barriers, and yet here we are today, right, celebrating your graduation. The strength and the resilience of these graduates speaks to the testament of who they are. As I look out at their faces, I see a future that is bright, a future that brings optimism, and a world that will be blessed with your talents. I think about the many accomplishments that you will be achieving, and I feel confident, just as you should, that you have the grit, you have the strength, you have the creativity, and you have the adaptive capacity to encounter challenges that you may be facing in the future. All of us believe in the leader that each one of you has inside and that you can contribute as you move forward in your life. And as a collective, I know that we know that you have the spirit, you hold the spirit to make sure that you can create your own very unique story of success. So now you are ready to take your next step in your lives. And tonight, you will be leaving here not as a high school student, but as a high school graduate, ready to seize the day. Here, we us, here with us, we have parents, we have family members, we have friends, we have teachers, we have CAP advisors, we have counselors, a lot of individuals that were able to see the leader in you, they were able to see the genius in you, and they made it their mission to make sure that you would be here today celebrating your graduation. Today marks the end of one chapter of your life, but you are about ready to begin a very successful story. So as I thought of what advice I would give the class of 2022, and by the way, you are my first class as a brand new superintendent. So I thought about what I may say to my own son when it is his turn. Remember, dreams do not have deadlines. 
Be courageous. Follow your dreams. Believe in yourself. Your youth and your energy are assets because they will bring to us in this world a lot of new ideas, a lot of energy, a lot of creative thinking, divergent ways of looking at things. And we need this now more than ever. Now, that is not to say that you will not be making mistakes, because after all, we all know that that's part of life. It's what you do next that becomes really important. So I want to share with you one of my favorite quotes. And uh, it comes from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And he says, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters in comparison to what lies within us. So as your high school journey sunsets, I want to share with you some thoughts that I hope you remember and they will stick to you. The first one is please remember those who love you. Make sure you call home, make sure you're connected with family, and please remember family is not replaceable. Stand by your convictions, but always stay humble and always make sure that you listen to others. We have two ears and only one mouth. And listening will always make you that individual that is more special. That individual that will listen to others and will understand and be able to grasp what others are trying to say. Look up more. Nowadays, what do we do? We look at social media. We look at the internet. We're always on our phones or on our tablets. And I am guilty of that. But what we need to do is look up more. Look at people, engage with them, talk with them, have a conversation. Because I can tell you that there is no technology device, there is no technology tool that will ever replace the value, the importance, and the beauty of human connection. Chase your dreams with passion. Work hard to make them a reality. Identify your goals, envision the plan, and just go for it. Dreams do come true. And finally, make sure you enjoy the ride. You need to trust yourself. There is no pre-written script. You will be the authors of your own story. So why not go ahead and become an exceptional author that writes your own unique story of success, of your life, of your accomplishments. We know you can do this, and that is one of the most important pieces that you ever need to take with you. Remember, you are the author of your own life. And before I close, I just want to thank someone that I've known for many years. I've known this individual as a teacher. I know him, him as an assistant principal has a huge heart for children in my book and for our school district. He's a tremendous asset because he is an extraordinary school principalship, school principal. I am referring to your leader, Mr. Santoyo. Thank you, sir. And finally, we all know that life is made up of moments, correct? So guess what? This is your moment. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, Dr. Dotris, uh, for those powerful and inspiring words. And now I would like to bring back to the podium our student council president, Kevin Pino, 
for the senior reflection. Good evening, everyone. It is my honor to stand before you in the last moments of our high school careers. Before I continue, I'd like to express our gratitude to our principal, Mr. Santoyo, our administrative team, and all the teachers and mentors we have relied on. You have shaped, you have shaped the class of 2022 into who we are today. Over the last four years, we have matured as a class and as individuals. We have developed from freshmen into graduates. In the process, we have made friends and created memories that will impact us for the rest of our lives. Memories of hanging out with friends on a Friday night always makes me think of Ms. Yanez. She never failed to remind the class at least once a week about the letters written on her podium. Carpe diem. It means to make the most of the present time. Her constant reminders that our youth is in the here and now have saved me many regrets. Some of us have lived our high school life to the fullest, never denying the opportunity to go on field trips or join new clubs and meet new people. On the other hand, some of us have shied away from making friends and trying new things. For those who miss the opportunity to seize your high school days, you still have time, but you must never forget the unpredictable nature of life. You must live every day like it's the last. We must never forget to how we got to today. Over the last 12 years, many have sacrificed themselves for our sake. We owe a depth of gratitude to our parents, family members, and mentors who have invested in our future. To my classmates, friends, and teachers, thank you for making the last four years unforgettable. And now I would like to turn it over to our MC, Mr. Ramirez. Thank you, Kevin. And now our HML concert band will play our class of 2022 song. Thank you, Mr. Segura and our amazing band. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Angelina Quintana, Senior Class President, with the class address. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, okay, good. Hey. Thank you, Mr. Ramirez, for that fabulous introduction. Good evening, everybody. My name is Angeli Quintana, but everybody calls me Angie. Today, I have the honor and pleasure of delivering this commencement address for the best, most passionate, relentless, and obviously the best looking class to ever walk our orange and blue hallways, the one and only class of 2022. Before I continue, I want to give a big thank you to our parents, 
siblings, significant others, friends, or anybody who is here for us today, your continued love and support means the world to us. Personally, I want to thank three special women in my life who made me into who I am today. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to stand here in front of everybody. Mama, tia y abuela, gracias por todo lo que hacen. Las amo mucho. Let me start off by saying, it's been quite an exuberant four years, but I can say today we stand here stronger and more united than we have ever been. Unexpected switches left and right, not only in our personal lives, but our school lives as well. It's no secret that we have had to endure more things that thousands of alumni before us had never had to go through. I don't wanna to sound too cliche, but it's evident that we are the strongest class to ever step foot inside of HML. One moment, we were sitting in our freshman creative writing classes. The next, we were in an online platform named Zoom. And now, we gathered here, all dressed up, ready to prepare for the next chapter of our lives. Before coming to HML, I was just an eighth grader, coming from a K-8, growing up in a little bubble. I was used to seeing the same kids since kindergarten, and then, in my eighth grade year, I was forced, well not forced, but I was introduced to a new decision, and that was picking my next high school for the next four years. I had a lot of people come up to me and say, don't go to HML. I don't know why, but every time someone would say that to me, I would just laugh it off and say, yeah, right. After being in HML for those four years, I realized who though, those who spoke about HML in a negative light don't even know what HML has to offer. To those HML haters, I have to say, if you ain't got haters, you ain't popping. <laughs> yeah. Look, this graduating class is evidence enough of how strong administration, amazing teachers, and obviously dedicated students can come all together to make the HML legacy. My part in this HML legacy, you ask, is that I've had the honor of serving as your class president for the past two years. Being the president of the class of 22 means I have to speak for all, about 277 of you guys, and I can assure you it can be a little difficult doing so. But I wanna try to highlight one thing, and that is our diversity. And among that diversity is our unity as a student body. We may all come from different countries, may speak different languages, and may eat different foods, but I can assure you we all share one common goal, and that is making a difference in our vast world. We are the leaders of tomorrow. Right now, we may be taking our last steps in Trojan country, but soon we will be the next entrepreneurs, activists, and professionals in the next coming years. To be honest, I've heard prior generations speak poorly on us due to our lack of empathy and motivation, but they're wrong. If there's one promise I can make to everybody in this room tonight, is that the class of 2022 will not let this world down. Unlike what many believe, we are complex, intelligent, and optimistic individuals that will make a difference in the world. Given the past two years of challenges, I am confident that we are indeed well-rounded and capable, capable young adults that will create a better future. After this ceremony ends tonight, we will all be taking different paths. Some will join the military, some may seek a four-year degree or go to trade schools, and others may just go with the flow. To those who are still unsure what they want to do, I say to you, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Be comfortable and confident in what you're going to do. Do something with great passion. And I can assure you, your life will be always filled with adventure. Thank you. <laughs> now back to our one and only Mr. Ramirez. Thank you, Angie, for those words. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our esteemed principal again, Mr. Alexander Santoyo, for his remarks. Good evening again, parents, students, and distinguished guests. Um, thank you for joining us one more time. Um, I'd like to start uh, expressing my admiration for the parents and family members that are here today. As a parent myself of a junior, I know the love, commitment, and dedication that you have bestowed upon your children for many, many years. This mark today is only the beginning 
of a very successful path for them. As principal, on behalf of our staff, we thank you for allowing us the opportunity to serve them during the last four years. Estimados padres y familiares, felicitaciones por las graduaciones de su hijo. Como padre de un alumno de un seno grado, conozco el esfuerzo, el amor y la dedicación que todos han dedicado en estos años a sus hijos. Este día marca solo el comienzo de un futuro muy exitoso para ellos. Gracias por permitirme a mí y a nuestra facultad servirlos en los últimos cuatro años. Students, please recognize your parents and family members here today with a big round of applause. All right. Um, that's the spirit right there. That's the spirit. All right. I, um, all right, parents. All right, parents. I would also like to take this time to thank the amazing teachers, staff, administrators of Hialeah Miami Lake Senior High. It is, it is my privilege to work for the most dedicated employees in Miami-Dade County Public Schools. I commend you, faculty and staff and teachers, for your loyalty to our school, and I pledge to continue strengthening your legacy of greatness at HML. These graduates here today are the product of your hard work, your many hours of Zoom meetings, and your dedication. Please stand to be recognized, faculty and staff. Thank you. You may be seated. Seniors, everyone always speaks of how much this senior class has missed because of the pandemic, how many challenges you faced, and how unfair it is. Please do not view these challenges as a disadvantage. You faced them and you conquered them. Those challenges equipped you to be here tonight and to face everything moving forward. I know you will be able to survive anything that life put in front of you. You have resilience and strength to pick yourself up and keep moving. Your legacy, your memory, and your many selfies will be in the HML hallways and classroom for years to come. Today, as you become alumni, you will be part of the history of this great school. Your class is truly unique. Um, as a class, you have been demanding, uh, accepting, generous, but what's most important about it is that you have not lost your individuality. You have become, in the last four years, the best version of yourself. You have proven to have worked harder than any other class before you despite those many challenges and those many difficult circumstances, before you today sits one of the classes with the highest graduation rate at HML, with over 99% of them becoming an alumni tonight. <laughs> the graduates of this class have earned over $3.6 million in scholarships and have been accepted to, over, to universities and college in over 26 states around the United States. <laughs> Colleges and universities as prestigious as Denison University, Duke, University of Florida, University of Miami, Florida State University, Bethune-Cookman, and many, many others. I'd also like to acknowledge Christopher Bullitt. If you're here, please stand to be recognized. 
Christopher is our senior that has been present as perfect attendance for the last 12 years of school. Thank you, Christopher. And I know mom is up there. Thank you, mom. I also would like for you to join me as I thank all of those students that have made a commitment to defend this great nation by joining our military after graduation. As your name is called, please stand to be recognized. Andres Stewart, U.S. Navy. Christopher Goburn, U.S. Navy. Jordani Alvarez, U.S. Army. Isaiah Lopez, U.S. Army. Reynaldo Grillo, U.S. Army. And Azaria Cheney, U.S. Navy. Thank you. Now, seniors, as, as you know a little bit about me, you know, speeches are not really my thing. And the purpose of the principal's remark is to inspire you to be better and to do better. But you are already a class that has faced so much, and you're all here successfully. Over 99% of you are here tonight. So instead of just giving you a speech, I'm going to try to give you some advices that my parents gave me and that have helped me through my life. And hopefully, they'll be able to help you as you follow and you define your next chapter. Remember that life is not about accolades, money, and fame. Yes, they will make you happy. Life is about being honorable, being compassionate, and courageous. Your legacy will be defined by your humanity. Always strive to make a positive difference every day. Never underestimate your actions, however small, you could always uplift someone's dignity. Aim to always be the star in somebody's darkest times. Fight for your passions, your ideals. I want you to do it ferociously, respectfully, and kindly. Do it in such a way that others will want to join you in your fight. Be present for your family, for your friends. Yes, put the phone down and treasure those moments. There will be your memories forever. Set your goals high. Embrace new opportunities. Face on the challenges. Greatness can only be achieved when you are fully committed. And believe in yourself. I know as principal that you can conquer anything you want. You just need to really want it and work for it. Humility does not come by often. That is why it's so nice and it's so appreciated when you face it. So be the best, be your very best, but remain humble. And remember that to be the greatest champion, you only need to compete with yourself, not anyone else. With that thought in mind, I would like to close with a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. in his What is Your Life's Brewing speech. And he goes, if you cannot be a pine at the top of the hill, be a shrub in the valley. Be the best little shrub on the side of the hill. If you cannot be a highway, be a trail. If you cannot be a sun, be a star. For it's not by size that you win or fail. Be the best of whatever you are. So Trojans, as you go out there in the real world tonight, my advice to you is whatever you choose to do, whoever you choose to be, just be your best. 
It has been my honor and privilege to be your principal. Congratulations, class of 2022. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as, as principal of Hialeah Miami Lakes, I'm proud to begin the roll call of our graduating students. At this time, we would like to pause to honor one of our very own Trojans who is now with us today to celebrate and receive his diploma. I ask that everyone please rise and join the HML family In a moment of silence for Orbit Bullet. Thank you, you may be seated. I now ask Orbit's mom, Miss Yosa, an HML alum and Karen Fisher, to please join us on the stage to receive her posthumous diploma. As we remember, number 74 always had a smile on his face and was seen cheering on, the, on his teammates. If not on the football field, he would always be around campus helping both his peers and his teachers. Whoever wants to, um... Kevin Pino. <laughs> Angelic Quintana Ruiz. Megan Casal. Delvon Taylor. Abigail LaFont. Amanda Marine. Elizabeth Alvarez. Laura Perez Moreno. Mia Concepcion. Ariana Hogarth. Patricia Carrillo. Yamara Lewis. Kayla Millet. Jason Murray. Dyrenus Pavon. Bernice Pierre George. Diego Toruno.
Alyssa Alonso. Heidi Morales. Sophia Bompezzi. Logan Pritchard. Rick Rabel. Fabio Valdez. Brianna Alzate. Moses Briseno. Janalia Delian. Kimberly Downer. Ashande Edwards. Natalie Matos. Lisbeth Mokete. Samantha Perez. Rolando Serrano. Rakivia Thomas. Brittany Moreno. Claudia Mura. Miguel Pueyo. Dalia Ruiz. Jada St. Louis. Andre Vasquez. Alan Ventura. Alvaro Alba. Melanie Alberto. Giordane Alvarez. Luis Alvarez. Brandon Baba. Melvin Jerome. Brian Gonzalez. Catherine Linares. Anya Chacon. Isadia Cheney. Daniel Amador. Eros Araika. Timothy Archie. Santiago Arciniegas. Carlos Arredondo. Tanya Asensio.
Joanna Avila. Sana Baker. Abel Barrera. Tati Tatiana Barrios. Javier Benavides. Julian Blanco. Rafael Blanco. Brian Bolanos. Lauren Castro. Brian Menendez. <laughs> Ashley Pena. <laughs> Alexandra Canova. Miguel Evan. Nicole Marte. Tyler Grant. Andres Jaime. Diego Ferrell. Javier Colon Lopez. Catherine Campagnoni. Ariel Crespo. Kentrell Cromer. Veronica Fagan Cordovez. Rembrandt Falcon Basols. Jose Feliciano. <laughs> Isabella Boras. <laughs> Mohamed Bosed. <laughs> Winston Bristow. Christopher Bullet, Gabriela Cabrera, Uni Caldas, Eden Caraballo. Giuseppe Carr.
O'Neill Casal. Luisa Casas. Kaylin Castro. Miguel Ceballos. Ernesto Cruz. Lucas Cubillas. Kevin Carbello. Isaiah Davila. Brianna Davis. Shania Davis. Trikaya Davis. Melanie Felix. Ramaya Ferguson. Emilia Fernandez. Samuel Fernandez. William Fernandez. Janelis Flores. Amari Ford. Jakia Francois. Melanie Gonzalez. Raydell Gonzalez. Renaldo Grillo. Moses Gutierrez. Davian Hall. Penelope Del Valle. Brandon De La Fuente. Danny Delgado. Betsy Diaz. Jorge Diaz. Joshua Diaz. Juliana Diaz. Darnisha Drummond. Sean Edwards. Eloy Fabello. Anoy Galvez. Andrew Ganoa.
Carlos Garcia. Daniel Garcia. Caitlin Garcia. Cassandra Henry. Carlos Hernandez. Carlos Manuel Hernandez. Carlos Miguel Hernandez. Kendry Hernandez. Lillian Hernandez. Michael Hernandez. Salvador Hernandez. Jaquan Hodge. Lizbeth Lido. Luciana Leva. Anthony Lima. Sebastian Linares. Isaiah Lopez. Anthony Machado. Jacare Madison. <laughs> Brian Morena. Jamie Gomez. Sebastian Gomez Legro. Anthony Gonzalez. Dianara Gonzalez. Cameron Gonzalez. Lauren Gonzalez. Marlon Gonzalez. Jakari Hudson. Francis Hudley. Jamari Hunt. Jamari Hunter. Jamiah Huntley. Jayla Jackson. Melanie Moroto. Selena Marquez. Adrian Marrero. Jose Marufo. Kayla Martin. Adeline Martinez.
Archie Mathis. Audra Matthews. Inalia Medeiros. Miguel Mercado. Tavon Mincy. Diego Matelegre. Janice Morales. Lucas Nado. Juan Navarez. Eric Novoa. Rafael Nunez. Jaime Oliva. Damian Ordunez. Jose Ortega. Cheryl Jackson. Amy Jarquin. <laughs> Brian Jean Baptiste. Jacqueline Jimenez. Eduardo Medina. Sasha Medina. Brian Mayna. Angel Mendoza. Angel Palacios. Nelson Para. Carlos Perez. David Perez. Jose Perez. <laughs> Stephanie Perez. Yazlin Perez. Josue Pineda. Jean Piorno. Xavier Prater. Dylan Victoria Reyes. Jero Vincent. Angela Pui. Brian Reyes.
Isayana Reyes. Brian Rivera. Michael Rivera. Melanie Rivers. Anthony Rodriguez. Carolyn Rodriguez. Luis Rodriguez. Melanie Rodriguez. Marco Roman. Shada Romano. Oscar Meneses. Diana Science. Sherlyn Salcedo. Santiago Salcedo. Celine Sanchez. Elizabeth Santos. David Sibley. Carmen Sierra. Samuel Sigler. Terry Seiler. Briandre Simmons. Angel Smith. Andrew Stephan. Andre Stewart. Kenny Stewart. Judeline Volmar. Stacy St. Jean. Lorena Suarez. Arkela Suber. Jocelyn Tapia. Mark Tirolia. Berto Toledo. Yalis Valdez. Richard Vega. Gareth Whitehead. Alexandria Williams. Vermani Kimberly, Wimberly. Amari Wombo. Kami Ziran.
Luz Zubayzier. Brianna Welch. Jofaria Clark. Ciara Parker. Elise Perez. Michael Resillas. Rebecca Lowe. Daniela Montano. Terrell Guyton. Christopher Goldborn. Felipe Romero Mendez. Brand Garcia. Michael Matthews. Manuel Espinosa. Lionel Tirce. Isaiah Marceline. Graduates, please stand. All right. As, as principal, of Hialeah Miami Lake Senior High, I certify that these seniors have met all the requirements set forth by the Miami-Dade County Public Schools and the state of Florida. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare the class of 2022 to be graduates of Hialeah Miami Lake Senior High. <laughs> graduates, at this time, you may move your tassels from your right to the left. And you may now join our band and chorus to sing the alma mater.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing until the graduates have exited. Thank you for attending our 49th commemoration ceremony.